Or if you've got the papers from the men, leave them on the desk. I'll deal with them in a minute. my clock. What clock? The clock outside, the officer outside. What are you doing here? Was that a bona fide question or is it just curiosity or is it a challenge? Um, Duke, I have a lot of work to do and uh, I don't think that we had an appointment. Do I need a reason to see you? Yes, anyone that comes to visit me during the day, during office hours, has to have a reason. Office hours? Well, I don't clock in at nine and clock out at five. I admire your dedication. Why don't you come work for me? What are you doing here? I don't know. I just... I just thought of a reason. I bet you did. No, this is legitimate. Insofar as an invitation is a legitimate reason. What is is it? that a good enough excuse to come by? Well, it depends what the invitation is, if it's legal. It's a party. I'm having a party at Union Headquarters on Friday night. Well, it's not just a party, it's also a fundraiser. We're going to try and raise some money for the police fund. That's right. It raises an interesting question of mine. Ever since I heard about this party, I wondered what you were doing getting involved with police charities. Guess. Out of the goodness of your heart? <sighs> guess again. <laughs> it's probably the only way I could get you to show up. Otherwise, you would have said it was too partisan. Mm, well, I'll buy ten tickets and you can give them away. Oh, you're playing very hard to get. Well, how do you know that I'm free on Friday, anyway? <sighs> I have an awful lot of paperwork to do, and I would appreciate it if I could get on with it. No, you haven't answered my question. Will you be there on Friday night or not? Do you always get everything you want? I don't know. Not until you answer my question. Right. You win. The answer is yes. Yes what? Yes, I do get everything I want. I'll see you later. What, so far, you get everything you want. One more thing. Mm -hmm. I'll be coming over to your place this evening. And you will be cooking dinner for me. You're incorrigible, do you know that? Oh, Anna, we had a deal. I promised Robin that I'd keep you company every single night while she was gone. Did you forget? No, I didn't forget that. Okay, I'll see you later. Well, you'll have to eat before you come, because I, I, I'm not cooking tonight on a working night. I'm just warning you. Anna, I dream about the roast beef and the potatoes that you made the other night. Do you? Every night. Well, there was just an exception, because tonight you'll just have to make do with coffee. Otherwise, you're on your own. Fine. I'll cook dinner for you, then. You don't have to worry. I know my way around the kitchen. Do you remember? <laughs> 